My experience of dementia is from my granddad. I was only nine years old when he died. He had Alzheimer's for a few years, and like me, he loved football. He was a big Manchester City fan, which is quite funny that I play for Manchester United, although I'm sure he wouldn't mind. I really miss sharing all my football memories and experiences with him, as I know he would be really proud of me. What was your first experiences of dementia? Well, mine's actually quite similar to yours, so my granddad also had dementia and I'm a bit the same as you. That was probably before I started playing football like professionally with Liverpool and I also think it would have been great for him to see it because he was such a massive football fan, he was always in the pub watching football, so it's actually very similar to your story. My grandma right now actually has Alzheimer's. Um, she struggles to remember things. She has good days and bad days, like I'm sure your granddad did, and we're just trying to be there for her as much as possible and jog her memory, and she's actually Scottish, so there's one Scottish song that she remembers every single word of. If we put it on, she tells everyone to shh, because she wants to listen, but hopefully she can do as well as possible. I get lots of support from my family and my Manchester United coaches. I remember once when I was playing for my local grassroots team, my granddad came to watch. He turned to my mum and said that that girl over there is a really good player. That girl was me. It was such a sad time for me and my family that he didn't realise it was me, but it was such a happy feeling because even though he had dementia, the passion for the football was still there. Do your family come and watch you play football and cheer you on? Yeah, I've got a really uh, supportive family. Um, they live really far away, so I'm from Cornwall, so they do a lot of travelling for me, but um, yeah, without them I wouldn't, wouldn't have been here today, so yeah. I'm the same as well, I think we're very fortunate, our families are so supportive and when I was playing back home they came as well, but now when I, even though I'm down south they always make the trip and I think when I do a long journey I realise, gosh, I don't know how they do it week in, week out, but yeah, they're really supportive and it's so nice to see them at the games as well. Likewise, um, we're so lucky and in such a privileged position that we're where we are but also that our parents can come and watch us and I can hear my dad before I see them. If you think I'm loud then you should meet him. So yeah, both my mum and dad and we've got a little dad's club at Manchester United actually. Maybe your dad will be part of it <laughs> soon um, where all the dads make the trip down to the away games together and watch. I love playing football. I love being part of the team and I especially enjoy going to training twice a week to better myself in matches. What does football mean to you? The feeling of being in a team um, is a really nice feeling. I think, you know, in other sports you're some on your own, but in football you get to be part of a team and it's really nice to have that support from the other players. And yeah, and you make really good friends, so I think that, that definitely helps. When you train really hard and then at the end of it something comes off and you achieve something together, I think that's really special that you can't Money can't buy, you have to work really hard together and they're just priceless memories. I think probably your dream right now and all our dreams as young girls was to be professional footballers and the fact we can say that we've achieved our dream is an amazing thing. So when I was younger I didn't know if it would even be possible to play for Manchester United and represent my country. So for me it doesn't feel like work, I'm going to training and doing something that I love every single day. I have lots of great memories of my granddad that I will keep forever. The love of football and practicing passing the ball together in the garden. What family memories will you treasure? I think related to my granddad it was probably, I say he was always in the pub, but when we used to go to the pub <laughs> and watch football and he was just the loudest, most funniest person in the pub and he knew everyone that came in and it was just, just seeing him interact with everyone and he was loved by everyone in the community and I think they're my biggest memories of him just on a Saturday. just really just having a good time with the people that he cared most about and also anyone new that walked in he'd buy them a beer and sort of get them involved as well so for me my grandma like i said we all live really close so when when i used to get the bus to school a long time ago and um, we'd all get off the bus and we could stop at my grandma's on the way home so we'd all go in there because she used to buy bourbons she used to buy bourbons jam and creams all the best biscuits put them all together in the biscuit tin and we'd all go round to her house and every pancake day we'd go round and she'd just make pancakes on pancakes. Our mums used to say, where are you? 
You like grandmas? I think we won't come home until we, we felt sick. <laughs> I love kick-ups in my spare time <laughs> and my current record is 1,133. <laughs> oh You're beating us. <laughs> do you know how many you can do? Oh Not, Not that, that many, many, I don't think. <laughs> you must God. be very patient. Is yeah. I don't think I can count to 1,000. <laughs> I decided to run 100k for Alzheimer's Society because I could see how hard my grandma used to struggle looking after my granddad and I wanted to help other people in the same situation. It also helped me focus on something that was a really sad time for my family losing my granddad. How did you deal with your family member having dementia? Well firstly that is incredible, that's really cool. Um, I think. I was quite young so I probably didn't understand it as much but now I have, there's a few memories I have that make sense now I'm older. Um, my family live really close together, I can look out of where my mum and dad live and see my grandma's house so we know if she's up to anything she shouldn't be. Thank you for speaking to me today and let's raise awareness for Alzheimer's Society to help people with this condition to get help for themselves and their families.